Let me tell you a story. The story of Adam's first wife. The mother of demons herself. Lilith! I know, I know. You thought Adam's first wife was Eve. But according to Jewish folklore, Lilith was Adam's actual first wife. And this confusion is all caused by conflicting accounts of creation. Written in the biblical text of Genesis 1.27, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And then there's Genesis 2, the version of creation most of us are familiar with, which states that God fashioned Eve from one of Adam's ribs. And when Adam first saw her, he recognized her as part of himself and accepted her as his companion. This act has come to represent Eve's subordination to Adam, especially considering that she was literally created from one of his ribs to be his wife. So, unlike Eve, Lilith was not created from Adam's ribs, making her his equal. And as his equal, she was not having it when he tried to assert his dominance over her. She flat out refused to lay beneath Adam. Adam disagreed with her assertion, and so she fled the Garden of Eden to gain her independence. And what did Adam do? Did he chase after his partner? No, he complained to God. And God, being the helper that he is, sent three of his angels after her, who happened to find her in some cave bearing children. The angels commanded her to go back. And if she did not, they told her they would kill 100 of her children every single day for her willful disobedience. You might be wondering how she could possibly have children, considering it was supposed to be just her and Adam. Well, apparently, by the time they found her, she had already slept with Satan. In the chilling adventures of Sabrina, it wasn't her who left, but God who banished her after she refused to submit to Adam. She then wandered the world until she came upon Lucifer. It's an old tale, some of the details are lost, so I feel like that's as good of an explanation as any for why she had children that the angels can threaten. So anyways, Lilith still refused the angels, and the angels carried through with their threat, and in revenge, Lilith is now known to kill all new children who are not protected by amulets depicting the three angels. Today, Lilith is seen as both a powerful and destructive symbol of female power. She is often represented in modern stories such as Supernatural, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and Lucifer. In Supernatural, she is the first human ever tempted into Lucifer's service, thus becoming the very first demon. In Sabrina, she is the mother of all demons, who is not just the first woman, but the first witch. In Lucifer, she is again the mother of all demons and the first wife of Adam. And before you ask, I don't know if this story is true. And it doesn't really matter. What matters is what she represents, an independent woman who challenged the oppressors. More importantly, she is a symbol of power that is open to interpretation which allows for her to remain a symbol for future generations. Also, Adam is a huge p- 